All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry. I'm going to show you how to play your EA Play games like Dead Space with your PS5 controller on the EA Play app by running it through Steam and using Steam's drivers, which are quite nice. So in order to do this, we're going to need to connect the controller and add the EA Play app to Steam. So we're going to start by adding the controller but also make sure that your EA Play app is completely shut down and off and not running in the background somewhere on your PC. Once you do that, we're gonna go ahead and open up the Windows settings panel for Bluetooth and other devices. If you need help finding this, just go to the search bar and type in Bluetooth. Once you do that, you can grab your controller and press and hold the PlayStation button in the center of the controller, it's the physical logo, and then the button that's kind of off to the left above the arrow keys that's got like three lines poking out of it like it's surprised. That's the share button. Press and hold the PlayStation and share button until the light on the front begins to flash. Once it does, it's in pairing mode and you can click on add Bluetooth or other device. Click on Bluetooth, and then it should show up as a generic wireless controller. Go ahead and click it and then boom, it's connected to your PC. Uh, you can also just plug this in. The choice is yours. A lot of people ask me how to do this, so I just bake it into the tutorials now. So with that plugged in or connected, you can double check it by going to Steam, Settings, and then when you're in the settings, you can check that under Controller, you see PlayStation 5 at the top here. You've got PlayStation Controller Support fully enabled. And if for whatever reason this thing is misbehaving and acting like a mouse and keyboard when it shouldn't, you can play around with the controls in desktop layout. You can go to the official layout here, and you can play around with community layouts to see if one of these will help it behave itself better so it stops pretending to be a mouse and keyboard in-game, which can, you know, be screwy and a pain in the butt. So that's fully enabled, and you can see it inside the settings window. So now we have to add our EA Play app to the library here. To do that, we're gonna go up here where it says library at the top of the screen. And above that is a button called games. We're gonna click on that. And we're gonna select the option that says add a non-Steam game to my library. This is gonna open up a window to all of your different programs that are currently installed on your computer. Unfortunately, if I look up EA, the EA desktop app doesn't show up at all. So that's a bit of a problem. So to fix that, we're gonna go click browse and mine is installed under local disk, program files, electronic arts, EA desktop, EA desktop. Yours might be installed somewhere differently. If it is right click it when it's saved and like pinned to your hotbar at the bottom of the desktop, right click it, Right click the, the thing that says EA next to the icon for the app itself and then click properties. And this should tell you the file path to where your copy of the game is saved. So it says here program files, electronic arts, EA desktop, EA desktop, EA desktop. So just to run you through that, I go to my PC, I go to local disk, I go to program files, I go to electronic arts which is right here, EA Desktop, EA Desktop, and then, you guessed it, EA Desktop. And then I click Open. Then it adds this to this list manually, and then I click Add Selected Program. Now I can launch it through Steam, so I'm gonna do that. This will go ahead and boot the EA Desktop app, along with all of my you know, settings and games and everything, and then I can click on Dead Space to launch it to show you that the controller is actually functional and actually lets me move around inside of the game. Now, this isn't going to display PlayStation buttons because it thinks it's a, an Xbox controller, and you're just gonna have to live with that because if it actually had PlayStation buttons that it could display on the screen, we wouldn't need to run this through Steam. All right, so let me go ahead and click continue. It'll zoom out and here's my character. I can wander around, I can sprint, I can aim, 
I can shoot. I can even reload and heal myself. It's fantastic. Everything you've always wanted. So yeah, you can see that this works and it's pretty easy to set up. Just requires you to have Steam, the EA app, and this controller. I will say that this probably works a little bit better if you plug it in. If you're experiencing any latency with this controller, just go ahead and plug it in with a cable. Does it suck? A little bit, but you can always buy a really cheap long cable that'll run across your entire house to keep this plugged in if necessary. So that'd be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.